Hello, 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 and welcome to Done by Dorothy. This is Dorothy, and we are here today. We are working on our Christmas journal along for 2021. And of course, we showed all of our beautiful digitals yesterday. So if you missed that video, make sure you go find it. It'll all be listed in the in the journal along Christmas 2021 playlist. So check that out, and I will put that in the description box below. So you can find it as well as a link to Michelle over at the Junk Journal Studios kit. Um, so we can check that out. So we're going to get busy with it. I know yesterday we said we were going to work on shakers today, and I apologize for that. Um, because I totally spaced the fact that we hadn't pulled our papers for our signatures. So that's what we're working on today. We're going to get both of our signatures done. This will be a two-signature journal. So I'll just show you some of what I have, and some of those I won't pull and exactly use today. Some I may, so um, some I may just have on hand in case I want them later. So I have some, these are like the cut-ins off of my file folders when I make my altered file, fol my altered file folders. Um, and so I like to have some of that as backup for like, you know, journaling cards, an extra pocket, you know. Especially some of the ones where, like, you cut the tabs off. So, like, you know, they're great for doing, like, an index pocket at the bottom of a page or so on and so forth. So, I got some of those. And, of course, my favorite part of Christmas. I got some good old days, Christmas annual, Christmas music. Um, and there's actually some vintage comics. Um, there's all kinds of poems and just black and white Christmas pictures. So there's just a ton of stuff in here. Um, like some red work. That's, but it is all just, you know, like this. You could very well cut out that poem and use that poem on a page. So, you know, tons of things. I mean, last minute shopper, just Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Um, and the this was from an advertisement from 1924. So, I mean, there's just, like I said, there's a ton of stuff. Poems and all kinds of items in here that we'll be able to use. So, yeah. So, there's McCall's Magazine cover. Vintage books. I mean, there's just... All kinds of stories just tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff in here so there's a 1924 ad with trains and such so and this was actually from tower press um in 1975 so and this actually is the cover there wasn't a cover this was the cover so there's that and then I've got my The Family Christmas Songbook, um, which is just tons and tons of Christmas music. So we have that for our Christmas music selection. Of course, I've got some just uh, tea and coffee dyed papers. I pulled out some of my tickets because they're red, so I thought, you know, you never know what we'll do with those. I've got some snowman recipe cards. I have some recipe cards I picked up from the Goodwill. They're just, they just say ho, ho, ho around the edge of them. Of course, I've got some vintage hankies um, to use. I love this one. It's so pretty. I almost... May not, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to use it. Sometimes you want to use them. Sometimes you don't. I actually think I'll probably end up using this one, though, um, because I love the embroidery on it. So we have that. Then I have a couple of pages. Um, this one's called When Winter Comes. And I thought this would be really cute, sort of like a two-page section. You know, cut it in half. And it is out of the Boys and Girls Bookshelf. And I believe... If I can look over here, that this is um, copyright 1912 by the University Society Incorporated. So, and it was a whole set. Um, and it says fun, fun and thought for little folk, part 
two and part one is what these are. Um, and then there's another one. There's a story about Jack Frost, Holly and Fur. So I thought those would be really cute to use. So I have those. I'm going to move these books out of the way for a second. Give me a second. I also have some, and this is really weird. Um, it's actually a scrapbook paper, but it's very high gloss and it's very thin. So, you know, we'll see what we can use it for. Um, and I've got... There's some holly pages. Some holly pages. There's some snowmen. And there's some reindeer. Of course, these really don't look vintage. Um, the holly would you could get by with. Um, let's see. So there's some reindeer ones. There's some blue snowflake, which are really pretty. There is some elf paper and then there is some Santa paper so there's a variety of those if we decide to use those um, these I may use the some of the holly and ivy because they look more vintage um, than anything else and I think they would blend in better with the kit um, so and actually put those on top so we'll probably end up using those. Of course, I have some uh, ledger paper because I absolutely love ledger paper. I have, let's see what else I have here. I have some vintage wallpaper um, that I had purchased at my Goodwill. And I just took these and cut these in strips if you want to know how wide I did for those. They are 6 inch by about 11 and a half. So, I figured we could use that. Maybe make a couple bags out of it. Maybe use it as a page. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me for my throat. Um, I also have a sheet music magazine from December of 1980. Christmas carols, holiday sing-alongs. This is the giant holiday issue. Um, so, it's, again, Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Angels we have heard on high. The holly and the ivy, that would be cute to go in the one um, that matches, because our one story was holly and ivy, wasn't it? Oh, it's holly and fur, but same difference, so that will work. Um, I also have some vintage, uh, well, I don't know, some, they may be vintage, some of them are, some of them aren't, I guess. Uh, this is 1958, a Rudolph uh, book, and I have a multitude of these, I pulled out like four or five. Uh, because I don't want to use all the pages of one book because, you know, I'm going to use these for other things too, um, like making little golden books. Uh, so we may end up, you know, making one of those too for the Christmas season. This one, um, the copyright page has been ripped out, but it was like 15 to 69 cents, but it's the animals Christmas Eve. There's a frosty... Um, that was from 1992, so it's not very old. I also have this Sergeant Preston and the Yukon King, which I realize isn't, like, Christmassy until you get in here and you realize, you know, maybe not. We probably won't use that. Let me set that to the side. Change your mind along the way. Um, and then there's another Frosty, and this is just the cover, um, and it was one of the vintage Frosties, so there we go. Um... Let's see what else is there. Oh, and then I had these I had bought from, let me pull it open. I had bought this from Heartfelt Creations. Um, if you haven't checked them out, you can look online and that's not a paid advertisement. I literally just bought them from there and was checking them out. So um, it's called Art from the Heart. Um, this is a five by seven fold out card, five by seven fold out cards, white, create setting interactive cards. Um, the number is HCCF14442 fold out cards. There's four pieces in the collection. I think I may have used a couple. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's four in here. There's two that are horizontal and two that are vertical. And basically, what these are, are they are just cards that fold out. So like this one has a base card and it's got the fold out, 
fold out and fold out so you can layer. Um, and I thought with, you know, all of our little designs and stuff like that, we might be able to use that. Although I think I'm going to use the two vertical ones. Um, because I thought if we put it like, I will probably end up folding these a little differently. Like this. I will probably fold them inward. So this will, you know, be decorated. I'll probably put something up a little higher along the edge here. Um, to cover that one. So then when you flip that up, flip it open, then this one will fold out of one side and you have this base on the other and sort of create a center fold. And same thing, and each one's different. So like, as you see, these are sort of angled. These are more straight horizontal. Um, so again, I'll flip that in that way. So I use those two. And there are, like I said, the two horizontal ones too, if you're doing bigger size journals. But I thought I would pull that out and maybe we'll use that. And if you hear noises in the background, I apologize. That's my little kitties. Okay, so that's going to cover our pages. Let me get in my bag here where I keep everything stored and pull out my full-size pages here. And I also have my greeting cards, but my greeting cards I'm going to use for ephemera pieces. So that's the way that's going to be. So I'm going to move all of this over here right now. These are going to be for extra pieces along the way. So they're going to get moved out of the way. So let me see. Let me divide these into two. So there's one, a solid background. And I'm going to try to just sort of even them out. You know, so they all don't have, since I have two of the solid backgrounds, here's one that's more, I don't know, hollow, I guess. My little kitties are playing all like crazy over here. There's one with words on it and words on it. And there's a Santa for each one. And then a vintage little girl one. Let's I'm going to put this red one here since this one's got a lot right over here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to figure out which, you know, what process I want them in. I think I want this on the front. Um, and I'm going to do with that one. And then this in the middle. Yep, that'll work. So I've got that. Oh, and there's a train. So see, every time I try to pull something out, something crazy goes on. So let's see. Um, we'll put this on the outside again. Put this in the center. So let's go that way since it has a design on it. Um, and then we'll do this one. Oh, I don't want those two back to back because see, we have the same color. So let me jump in here and find the one that's more plain. I think it's the second one in it. And let me switch these out. There we go. Okay, so. This will be the inside, this one, this one, this in there, and then, <clears throat> yep, that works. And again, you know, it's no rhyme or reason, you just sort of put them together. So there are our two, signatures as far as the digital parts. <clears throat> now I know I want to put my card inserts in the middle. So let's go ahead and put those in so we know where they're at. Okay. Where is my hanky slash doilies? Not sure yet, but um, if we'll use these or not, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead though and put that. In. Let's go in the very front right there. 
this is a pretty big hanky to try to use inside there, but we'll see. Oh, I like to love how that does on the edge though. And then this one, and we'll go over here, right here. And what I'll probably do is use red thread and so across the bottom to keep it together, I'll iron them and then sew up the side with red thread. So you sort of make little fabric bags. And I, well, I may like um, sew them onto coffee dyed paper to reinforce them so they're more sturdy. And then that has that, so there's that. Okay, let's look at the holiday sheet music and decide what we wanna use there. Um, some of these aren't Christmas and some of them are, so it's sort of crazy. Oh, uh, let's see, oh, come on. Um, Um, I'm going to use this Holly and Ivy and these pages are magazine pages so they're very very fragile um, so I'm actually going to glue two pieces together so I'll take that because I want to do one on the front and one on the back so we'll do that in a second um, See, and here's we wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, angels we have heard on high. And I do have some other Christmas pages too, but let's see. I think we'll do we'll wish you a Merry Christmas. Um, but I'll back it onto a different page, which is probably what I should do with these too. Now that I think about it, um, yeah, I will. I'll put this back in here. Okay, so there's that. So um, let's see. We'll put Holly and Ivy in this one since it's got the Ivy on the front, and from here I'm just going to start stacking. So I'm going to use one for a bag. One is an insert page, and again, a bag and an insert page for my vintage paper. Um, I'm just going to fold this in half, and then we can decide what we want to do with it from there. Because this is a very, very old ledger pages, so, and they've been coffee dyed on top of it. So I'm just gonna, there we go so we got that and that um, with these pages I'm just going to use one page of the ivy in each one and we will vintage that up so let me take the rest of these out of the way and we'll continue with the holly and fur with that one and this one we'll put over there um, here is the family Christmas songbook and I think we're going to use the other. This is more of a newer. This is the good old days book. Um, I think I'm actually going to keep this more um, as we get into it um, for like ephemera. Like I really like this. Um, it's got the Santa comes to town on it, but it's all in the green. I really like that. So we could split this page in there because this has little chimney and stuff on there. So that might be cute. So let's use that page out of this. And divide this up here. And this will have the green writing, the trees and such in it. Um, and we'll put that over there. We'll put that there. So there's that for right now. And then the rest of this 
we will use um, to help with our ephemera and such. <coughs> Sorry, I had to get a drink. My throat has been crazy, crazy, crazy lately. Um, let's see. I don't want to use. I don't know if I want to use. I don't want to use the Rudolph one. I think I'm going to use the Frosty one because I love Frosty the Snowman. It's like. Okay, so I'm working on trying to get the cover off, guys. So give me a second. Because I'm just pulling because these are all they're stapled in. So usually if you can get a hold of that base you can pull it this doesn't seem like it wants to come off of there do not use your scissors to pry things guys that's dangerous there it went I knew if I worked hard enough, it would go. Um, so see how it's all—it's just the staples. And then I'm just going to use my scissors to sort of push these where they're straight up, the ones that are bent over, because it'll just make it a little bit easier to get out. Now what you can always do, too, is use your staple remover um, and pull that. But I sort of wanted to keep this on the outside. Okay, so now... go and then I'm gonna pull from down here but I'm holding the cover so it doesn't then it's still gonna be very careful because these are old staples and the last thing you want to do is get your finger in there And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull these staples out because if I don't, they will end up on my craft floor in my foot. And I'm just sort of pushing just enough to get. So you got the staples pulled out. And then because I want to keep that, I'm going to go ahead and glue this up really fast because I don't want to accidentally like rip it off or something. So. I've learned you just, and you know, it's going to take like two seconds here. I'll go ahead and throw some glue on here really fast too. And then I'm using my fabric tag just to tack it down. It's not going to do any permanent reconstruction or anything, but it'll keep it from coming loose and me losing it along the way there we go so then I have my cover well but I have all my pages here so what let's see let me and I want the one with frosty in the back I love frosty so we're gonna pull that out and put frosty over there just frosty with the kids and then I use them with the little kids there just to change it up some and then I just I'm going to put this with that and hold it to the side there we go um, my tickets I'm going to set to the side because that's going to go in my ephemera again same thing with pages um, now I do want to put at least three 
coffee dyed pages in each one. <clears throat> I apologize, you guys. The morning, the morning throat thing going on. It's all the way. I want to put three pages in each journal, so I'm going to go ahead and of just plain coffee dyed. Can you hear my little kitten? He's teeny tiny. And he's still adapting, I think, to being away from his mommy. He's always written up on my desk before we anywhere to get attention. Okay, so I'm gonna put three coffee dyed in that one. So let's put it up there. And then we'll build our and that'll give us some more room and pages to decorate on. We'll have tons of stuff. Going into our journal. This one, two, three. And I actually want to check something because I don't remember because we may need four. Let me pull this out. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yes. So we need four. One, two. Yes, we need four, not three. I was thinking, wait a minute, I think it's four. Okay, so let me put that one. And again, <coughs> oh, you can tell it's winter season, you guys. Okay. So there we go. We got our base pages. So let's go ahead and get our coffee dyed pages in here. That will go like that. Run there. Go there. And that's just going to give us some more pages. Did I skip a page? Yep, I got pages stuck together here. And that's just going to give us, and these aren't inked up, so it's going to create more of a And I mean, I probably will end up inking these pages um, because I love the look that those vintage pages give. And there's the train. Okay. There we go. So there's this. Okay, so I'm going to set this set over the, to the side here for a second. I'm going to pull this out and we're going to work with this one. So, first off, I know I want to divide this up right here. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze, so if I do, excuse me. Yep. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so let's oh, let's start this off right up front. Um, throw in a little color, and that's going to fit page wise perfectly. So it's going to give us this on this side, and it's going to give us the small page on the back, which I like. Let's see. We have our frosty. Let's see how big it's. I'm, there's no way I'm going, I don't want to cut these pages, so I'm going to actually fold these pages in, and what I'll probably do is put some kind of ribbon or lace inside this, you know, sewed on the edge of this page, um, decorative-wise. And then I'm actually going to flip it this way.
And because it's stapled and stuff, I will do fabric reinforcement when I got to put that in. Um, let's see, that's right there, so I don't want to do that. Let's, let's go right here. And so see, that makes that right where it fits inside there without having to cut off and you lose any of those pages. Okay, then I have this one. I need to pull my big cutter out for this. Um, because I am am going to trim up the edges here. And I'm going to cut this. I'll try to cut it in the middle here. There we go. Okay, and the, these scraps I'll put to the side because they'll be great to use as. Sorry, I was thinking here, I don't want to divide. This is going to be divided right about in the middle. So I think we're going to fold her right over here because I don't want to fold. I want to make sure that I keep her in the picture. And then this is called When Winter Comes. And... I actually think I'm going to try this in here and I'm going to link something up to the other side of that. So we will see what we do here in a minute. Okay, this is when we wish you a Merry Christmas. I'm going to cut the top part off up here. And put that to the side because I can use that for ephemera. Let's see if that will... Yeah, that will fit inside of our thing. And then, because this, I don't want to really cut this poem in half here. I think I'm actually going to I'm gonna come through and I'm going to clip off the sides here. I am going to go ahead and ink this up. Um, just because if I'm going to glue it on, I and I'm not going to ink this up because it's got the vintage edging already on it. Okay, so I'm going to take a small piece of this. I'm going to measure up and see about how wide I need it to be. Oops. And I'm just doing this by... I want to little, keep a little bit of the sheet music on there. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that and then mark that. <clears throat> My throat is really bad today, guys, and I apologize. I don't know if it's just from the weather changing outside or. Okay. So we will keep that, and that'll give us our page that we need for. And I'm going to cut this little bit off here. There we go. There we 
And again, I can use that for something else. I'm going to ink up around the edge of this real fast. Although, with it being glossy, it's, it is archival ink, so that'll help some. Okay. And then I'm just going to run some glue. Again, you know, like everything else, you don't have to use a ton. Just throw some on there. Then I need to pull out my art glitter glue and start using it, but I got a new bottle, so I need to refill my little bottle up. I just haven't got to it. Haven't done it yet. Okay. And then I'm just going to layer this up where it's sort of central. And smooth it down, right like that. It's gonna add that pop of color on there, on our page. And then I'm going to uh, include this off here. Let me check my page to see where that's gonna put us. It's gonna put it coming out of the side a little bit. So let me see if I need to pull it all the way in. Yep. That's going to keep us in, although I do think I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And if it sticks out, that's just going to sort of, we can put some lace on there and sort of create a tab. So, me, about where I want it to be. And then I'm going to make sure, because this is going to be stuck outside, I'm make sure I put a nice bit of glue on here because I want it to hold. Okay, and again, I'm going to put this down here to the bottom, I think. I think I'll put it in the middle, actually. I'm going to put a little bit of an edge so you can see a little bit of that green. So now we're not going to lose all of our poem. We're going to have some of the this on the back, which I mean we're going to decorate and do something else with that. Then we've got our music sheet in there. There's our figgy pudding part. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Okay, so let's find our page. We're going to oh, oh let's see. Let's put it right here. So, and that's going to fit in there, and that music page is just a, sm just a smidgen short of our video pages, so it's going to fit, so it's going to, and see how this is going to lean over, so we'll, you know, sew some lace along there, and that'll actually give us some more on our edge. Cute, 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 cute. And by the time we get our tabs and everything in there, you know, it'll be over like that. And we have this. Um, I actually think that we're going to put this right here. And this will be a flip out. So leave it right there as a flip. So let me grab one of I'm gonna grab one of my paper clips. Paper clip it in there. Actually, I might leave that in there. That's a really big paper clip, but that actually sort of looks cute. Okay, so we have that. We have this page, and we trimmed it off. It's gonna be the same. So let's trim an edge off this. 
because I don't want it to be a full size page. So I'm going to come in and trim off basically one set of ivy off of it. And that'll be really nice to use as a border along something, which is why I cut it that way. And I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. Let's see. I think with this green around here, this will look really, plus I would sort of give something in the middle. So there we go. There's that. And our ledger, I love using um, vintage ledger. And I'm just gonna fold it in. And fold it in. Now I could fold it and create a pocket. I actually like having that extension, being able to decorate this side of it, folding it open and you have all of this writing area. So that's something I like having in there. And our final page is our vintage gift wrap. And I think I'm actually going to put it here in between the center page. So it's sort of going to I need to straighten that up though. Fold this a little bit better. And then I'll put it through the cutter. Apparently it didn't cut on that side very well. And again, I'll put that scrap over there because Sure, we'll use it. Um, let's see. This is going to be really busy with this, so I don't think I'm going to put it there. I think. Let me see. There's something there, something there, something there. And I like having something between all of my pages. That's actually going to have the paper clip there, so I think that'll be okay. Let's put it right here. And again, it's going to stick out a little bit. And again, I'm not going to worry about that too much. And I'm going to pull this paper clip off I have here and slide it onto here. Just to sort of hold everything in there together. So that one is done. Let me grab another paper. I apologize. I meant to grab those out before. Okay, so let's get busy with this one. So let me put that to the side because that goes with that. And this is a scrap. Here's that, that, and all my pages are here. So let's start with, we'll put it right there. And I think we'll fold this over just like we did the last one. And you'll find if you're doing a couple signatures, you know, some of it's redundant, some of it, you know, is going to be the same. And again, I'll reinforce that because of where the staples are. I don't want it to be weak. So that's in there. That's right front. We have this here. Um, and I think we'll do this right here because I like the way that that green looks with. I think it just goes really good. So it'll be a little small page flip in there. And there's that one. Let's use our page like this. And this one, instead of folding inside, I'm going to fold outside. I just doesn't really make a difference. I just sort of like making them a little different every once in a while. Okay. So there's that page. I want something colorful for this. So 
Oh, my poor little kitty sneezed. Let me see if I need to trim. Yeah, I need to trim this one up too. Put that over there. This can go here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, this is our Holly and Ivy page, so I'm going to trim it up. Um, I'm just going to turn it over here so I don't lose any of my... to preserve as much of the page as I possibly can and still put it in there I think it'll fit yet yeah. that'll fit perfectly okay so I'm gonna try to split this right down the middle so when you're reading you can read both sides of it just a teeny tiny more teeny tiny bit more like a sixteenth of an inch difference there I need to add. There we go. And I don't mind that this is all where I pulled it out, it's sort of shaggy. I like the fact it's not so perfect. And there's that page. Okay, we have this, so let's use this green and ivy for that and I think this time I'm going to take it down to about a half a page nah, give it a little there to use for whatever and that will add a pop of color there so it's not so drab with the plainness of all of it. And what else do we have here to use? Oh, we've got our sheet music. And I'm going to just try to fold this. And hopefully it will rip nicely, play nicely. And I'm just pull this in half. Actually, I'm going to pull it this way. So you're gonna see like part of the to you and your wassail, and then open it up. Let me. I'm gonna move it over just a tad bit so you get the word. It doesn't cut the word Holly in half. See if that's about right. Yep, yeah, that should be about right. And that'll be there. Open it up and you'll be able to see the hallway, which is cute. And let's see. I think that's it for this one because we didn't do any special pages or anything in there. I thought. Is that it? Yep, yeah, that is it for that. So this one is. Good to go too. So there we go. We have got all of our pages and our signature. So like this one, you'll open up. You've got your doily. And again, you know, we've got tons of ephemera to put on these pages, but there's lots of extra pages in there. Holly and the fur book. Look at that music for the holly and then we have our center fold okay so there is that there's that signature and then this one love that of course, we have this. This is going to be a flip out. 
It just happened to be the extra cut off, so we're going to leave it there as a flip out. And our gorgeous hanky, our holly, which catches our green over here. You know what? I don't want to put... That's got the holly there, so I'm going to move this around a little bit. Give me a second. Um... I just don't want, you know, that holly boom boom sort of break it up a little bit so it's not all at one spot. So let me come back over here and we'll put our frosty page there. And of course, he folds out our column page. Then we have that page now. And then we have our gift wrap page and then we have our center fold. And then, of course, we have the back side of those. So, there we go. So, our signatures are done. Um, so, at this point, I'm not going to go ahead and sew them in. I'm going to wait till it lasts because I need to put, we'll put lace on it. And I'll show you guys um, when I go to put my lace in what I'm going to do as far as lace wise before I put it in then also in off camera and then you know come back and do it that way so we have this done we're going to start building all the ephemera and then we'll go through and boom 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 put our ephemera in and all of that now tomorrow remember we will be doing um, another one of these and we'll be making our little pack um, this is actually going to go in the very front of our journal, um, not within the signatures. So we'll only be making one of these. Normally I like to make two of these just because then you have one for each signature. Um, that would actually look cute on top of there if it wasn't so busy, busy, busy. So tomorrow we'll be back and we will make these two. Um, I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.